Good morning, this is Bill with Highland Hill Farm, and today I want to talk to you about my opinions on what you should be considering when you're buying a property to go hunting. I've owned a lot of properties in my time, and I'll probably be buying quite a few more. But one type of property that I have never bought is a hunting property. I never bought a property for recreational use. Never, ever, ever. I, I own a lot of recreational use properties, but I never bought one for recreational use. Now, that may sound sort of weird to you, but think of it this way. If you buy a property and its sole use is for recreation, like you want to go hunting there and that's all you do on the property and you keep everybody else out and you have a great time and you grow food plots and you know, you're done with the property, and I would never do that. I would only buy a property that is a business property that has a side use as a hunting property. And the reason for that is very simple. You get a lot better tax treatment on it. You get all kinds of benefits. You can get soil conservation work done for you for free by the government. There's all kinds of programs that you'll be entitled to, to apply for, for land improvement. You might be able to set aside areas for like stream bank improvements. to do what's called a 1031 exchange. It's an IRS 1031 exchange. And that means what I do is I, I sell the property through an intermediary who then buys another property for me and then exchanges the properties. So at the end of the day, I just have exchanged a property, never selling a property. And that way I never have an IRS tax bill. What it does is it pushes the tax bill out further and further and further. Now, there's all kinds of estate planning techniques and tools that you can use, and you don't need to see your attorney for that. For example, you might want to create a life estate where you only own the property during your lifetime, and you let your children buy a remainder interest in the property after you've died from the current owner from whom you buy your property. But you got to see your attorney for that because that has very good tax implications because when you die, the property is no longer in your estate. There's other uh, things you can do with a, a rental property. For example, I've brought properties where I've allowed people to have a retained lease on the property to, to farm it. And because of that, I got the property at a discount. And because they have a retained lease, I'm not paying principal dollars that are after tax dollars to buy the property, which means I pay less income tax. So what you want to do is always make sure you never ever buy a recreational property. Always buy a property that can be a business property and have the auxiliary use of recreational opportunities for you. You can buy properties and you can lease out photo sites on a property. You don't necessarily, if it's a pure hunting property, just remember, it may have timber on it that you can sell. It may have, and you, so you can buy a timber property. It may have uh, mineral rights that you can sell. It may have arrowheads, Indian artifacts that you can let people go hunt and charge a fee for. It may have paleo rights. For example, it may, there may be dinosaur bones on it that you can let people go dig up and, and charge them for. So don't just buy a recreational property. Think of it as an investment. An investment that can help save you tax dollars. And that, in effect, is the best way to buy one, in my opinion. But if you don't believe me, go to your attorney, go to your real estate agent, go to your accountant and find out the benefits of buying real estate that is actually an investment property over that of a recreational property. On my properties, I plant trees and shrubs. And as you can see, I have plenty of trees and shrubs out my office window. And we sell Christmas trees. If you plant a Christmas tree, it may take 9, 10 years to get it up and running. But 
If you come to Highland Hill Farm, I'll tell you a way around that because there is a way around that. What we do is we plant a tree called the Green Giant Arborvitae. It's a very is easy to grow and we start selling it within one to two years of planting it in the ground. So you'll want to come to Highland Hill Farm and see our operations and I'd be glad to tell you all the secrets that I've used over the years because I don't care. It's not a real secret. It's just what I do and how I do it and I'd be glad to show you and tell you how we do it and why we do it. If you have questions about Arborvitas, give us a call at Highland Hill Farm. This is Bill. Our phone number is 215-651-8329. Thank you.